fact, if you wanted to put one of those heat pumps in somewhere like your RV, van, boat, or even a tiny house, there just weren't really any options. But that's exactly where you can use a unit like this. This is the EcoFlow Wave 2, and this is a true portable heat pump and air conditioner. Now, though it does use some electricity to operate, it uses very little. Now, that's going to make it ideal for a portable installation where you might be powering your system with something like solar power or on battery or a small generator. When this EcoFlow Wave 2 is set up as a heater, it's able to output 6,100 BTUs of heat. And with pushing just one button, this thing flips into an air conditioning mode, essentially reversing the heat pump system inside, and now it's able to deliver 5,100 BTUs of air conditioning. That is the same output that you would get from a typical small window air conditioner. This Wave 2 is super lightweight. You can use it just freestanding like this. Now in a big open space, it's not gonna matter, but if you're in a smaller space, you've got to get that exhaust outside. Now it's certainly nothing like carbon monoxide, but it is gonna be either hot or cold air. So with this unit, if you wanna use it in a built-in installation, they give you a number of accessories. When we look at the front of the unit, we've got these vents on top. This will always be your exhaust into your space. But if it needs to be positioned in your van somewhere that you might not be able to maybe get the airflow the way you want, you can use this included adapter. From here, it attaches to a hose. Some people have even connected these to vents inside their tiny house, and they can then distribute the air throughout the space. And the opposite is, of course, true for the exhaust. To get this air out of the space, you can use the included adapter on the back, and then use the air hose to route the air anywhere you want outside of your space. But additionally, inside we've got a compressor. This is the part that is normally outside your house. The main reason people love this unit is because it is a real heat pump. That means you will utilize way less electricity. In fact, EcoFlow has a battery that snaps right onto the bottom of this unit and you can run it completely standalone. But most of the people buying this unit are gonna use it inside something like a tiny house or an RV. In those situations, you'll locate the unit somewhere in your van or your RV and then you can connect those hoses. From there, you need to get them outside the space. Now that can be done many different ways. Some people simply just cut holes in the side of their structure, but you don't have to. You can use this included sort of template, put it inside of your window, and then you can route your air lines through it. Now you might have noticed there are two air hoses. That is because this is a true dual hose design. Now there is also a drain hose on the back of this. You will need that, especially if you're doing air conditioning, because part of air conditioning is dehumidifying a space. If you need that hose, you can simply connect it on the back, then simply route the hose outside. Now I do get a lot of questions about runtime. You can run this thing overnight, but other people are gonna plug something in like an EcoFlow Delta Pro or a unit like that, and you could run this thing almost indefinitely, especially if you're gonna add some solar charge into the mix. Other features in this one that totally set it apart is that it uses the same EcoFlow app that allows you to control their other devices. In just a couple of clicks, I can add this to my phone. I can remotely turn it off or on. I'm able to set the temperature, timers, and all sorts of other settings, even right down to the display. If you've got this in a tight space where you don't want the LEDs keeping you up at night, you can control how bright they are, how quickly the display goes out. All air conditioning systems or heating systems are gonna require some hoses and they can get a bit messy. When you're first putting it in, it seems like a lot, but once everything is tucked in and you've got those hoses routed, you'll only be left with the front of the device. From there, the air just blows right out of these adjustable louvers into your space. I did get a lot of questions on my original video about using these things in a tent. Now they do work just fine. You could either put the unit inside your tent and exhaust the air out, or others will put them outside the tent and just simply use their output air into the tent. Now this device is not waterproof, so you do need to take that into consideration if you're gonna to try to put it outdoors. It really needs to be protected. The biggest reasons to consider one of these units is first, there is no other heat pump on the market like this. Nothing portable that can run off either a battery or AC power. The second reason is output. I've run one of these now for over a year. I've used it for all sorts of different things. I worked in a crawl space and I blew some heat into the space. You could use it for a small room. This is nothing like those cheesy air conditioners that you may have seen ads for. This is using real heat pump technology. There's a full compressor and condenser inside. The next reason is the low noise level. Any air conditioner heater will always make some noise, but this is easily one of the quietest portable units that has ever been built. And I know some other folks have pets where they wanna use these things to cool a small space that the pet may be staying, and that can work equally well for that space as well. So if you're looking to step up your game, whether it's for a tiny house, RV, boat, or even a tent, this is definitely one to consider. I'd recommend checking out their website. You can look at the specs, and I think you'll agree that this is by far the most advanced portable heat pump that has ever been built, and it really works.